dear students today i will teach you how to create stock groups and stock items using tally erp9 please subscribe to my channel root4mg tv let's start guys this uh, downloaded version of tally erp9 from tally solutions private limited uh, this is the first screen if you are not having any company which is already created so it's a new just installed okay so first proceeding further you should have a company should be created so go to create company and enter so here you have to give name of the company okay let's put GT sorry. Go back. Okay. Okay. Be careful. This uh, directory should be the same. So here you need to give GTV. Communications. GTV communications. Okay. And then go select your country here. Okay any particular state actually when you select the state so automatically uh, all the rules uh, regulations tax and provisions everything will be applied so and so other details as well okay so here it's most important is accounts with the inventory or accounts only Mo mostly you uh, select uh, accounts with inventory only okay and other things you can leave it as it is just for a purpose and finally you can press uh, Y to say yes or maybe just press enter so the master uh, will be creating for you and this will be the gateway of tally so from here you have to go to uh, if it is accounts related uh, you can go here inventory related related you have to choose inventory info and any vouchers related to inventory info you have to select inventory vouchers okay I'm selecting inventory info and in the inventory info you have uh, stock groups or stock items unit of measures and voucher types and so on okay as you can see here I am going to give you a simple example of uh, how to create a group and how to create the item. First of all, you have to understand what is group and what is item. Group is uh, nothing but the group of item, items. Okay, say for example, if you talk about a television, under television, uh, there are lots of television models available. Something like Sony, Philips, LE, uh, LG samsung and so on right so individually the name uh, given to a particular item that you will be creating under stock items okay and you have to give a group title right so this is what uh, the difference is between group and item okay say another example like uh, i can put all these uh, sony all these things under not television but also I can put it as a electronics so under electronics what are the electronic items you have everything you can put it under items so this is the thing uh, which one should be created first you create groups and then you have to put all the items under the group so first operation is stock groups and by the way it will show you two options multiple and create individual so both you can use either of this uh, it doesn't matter so only differences is like this is a single page type every page you are creating but whereas multiple is one single page will be open and there itself you can create multiple types of groups that's the only difference so I'm just using single so the moment you click a single I'm just uh, typing uh, as per the example television you can give uh, alias name it's not required anyways you can give keep it as primary and can quantity of items uh, be added 
leave it as uh, uh, yes uh, no okay fine then uh, go back and now it is created you can display it so this is how the television group has been created now go back go to stock items so we'll create two items under the stock item and will refer to groups so click stock item and click create and the name of the stock item Sony TV okay 30 uh, 21 inches 21 inch LED fine okay then alias name is not required and now you see under option list of groups so put it and select television put it under this group and unit of measurement is also important so unit of measurement you need to create right you can create and you can update it later on and uh, just finish it all right so let me create unit of measurements okay here unit of measurements you can create many numbers just for a there are two types uh, one is compound another one is simple so I'm just using simple uh, symbol I'm going to give uh, it is uh, television sets right television sets are referred as numbers okay so N O I'm using so N O stands for simply numbers so here formal name I'm going to give numbers fine okay so number of decimal places by default uh, when you create the company itself in that company creation screen itself there will be decimal points so you can uh, change there or maybe here it doesn't matter okay and save it for saving every time you enter so it will be saving so let me go to stock items I wanted to edit so alter select alter and select this item this is the item we created just now and unit of measurements I am putting as numbers okay that's it so again let me create another uh, uh, group for example for you okay create so let's uh, like um, maybe um, let's put um, furnitures furnitures okay under group just keep it like this and save it going to go back just press escape key okay and now go back select stock items create again so we have to put a uh, item name under the group of furnitures okay let us put folding folding sofa okay folding sofa maybe hmm. okay let's keep folding sofa fine and now under the group of television or furnitures yes furnitures okay under the group of furnitures so furnitures also you can put it as numbers individually individual sofa sets so uh, number you can use or numbers n o s also you can use usually these are the standard uh, notations uses uh, in every company so i'm just using the same and enter that's it okay so this is a you have to create so for going back it's escape key going inside so select individual and then proceed forward Okay, let's see stock summary uh, any stock summary is available no till now because no vouchers no ledgers nothing's created so after you create everything you can find it okay thanks for watching students please subscribe to my channel root for MGTV Thank you. Goodbye.